Phenol Black, ladies and gentlemen, and there you go, you can read that, and I'll be back in a second. Real quick, this is our calculation. This is uh, DA14, February uh, 16th. It's basically the 13th through the 16th. You have to be now. Right now, the current closest is 21,157 miles. Okay, that it's supposed to be the closest that it could possibly get. This is a difference of 4,302 miles. Okay, forget that. You know that is mileage there, but it's under a mile. Okay. That's three quarters of a mile, not even three quarters of a mile right there. Okay, 4,302 miles is the difference that the idea, the closest possible before that I showed you because it was JPL data, 16854. Take you over to JPL, you can see how much they, how often they keep an eye on it. Okay, this is today's solution on it. And then we go down to the close approach data, the minimum distance, okay, minimum IU. And then we'll go over and watch our date that we want. So February 16th is the moon, the 15th, the closest is that, that's what I did the computation on. Now the computations I did before was what they had for a minimal distance that they gave me, us, every US citizen, everybody in the world pretty much, because everybody can get on JPL, pretty much. Uh, there might be certain times when politi politics, maybe some people can't from certain countries get to JPL because their country's not being nice. So anyway, data, Scientific facts get shared with people that are, are friendly to the United States of America. So, uh, right here we have, this is our, that's what the computation comes out to that. And then currently today's Central Standard Time and the date's always down here. And then this is the today that we have from JPL and out at 0121 IU and DA14. So, uh, you have to figure this in your mind. What bothers me is we had this for a figure before, and then it's just politics get involved and they start making people worried about GPS satellites, okay? Because GPS satellites are up at this distance and higher, I believe, okay? This was low enough for the idea that it would be in between satellite orbital areas, okay? Uh, but if you minus this from this, you get, so then you get 12,500 and 52, and then we all know how secret societies talk to each other. We get 567, 567, 567, and then you get an 8. 1 would be 8. So they're playing around with numbers to talk to each other is what they're doing, the communications wise. I would say you stick to 16,854 miles would be the closest, okay? Because that's when we minus the difference that they've got that it, they're saying that it's higher now. So proportional integral derivatives and you start figuring when then you start seeing a number like this people are playing with numbers and giving each other a message okay so they're definitely going to try to pull something off yeah so basically with make people making videos like i'm making this video makes it a little bit more tense of what they're going to try to pull off which i don't which thousand percent factual they won't be able to pull off i love the nra and the nra loves everybody that loves the nra so anyway bunch of politics going on. Congress is the only thing that can change anything on gun laws. Congress is the only thing that can change anything. That's an actual fact. And uh, President starts playing around with the 14th Amendment. That is, well, that's politic politics. Uh, people put him into office. And everybody knows who put him in the office. So there you go. That's their problem. So February 13th, through the 16th, pretty much 16,854, 16,854 miles or closer. And then the idea that if you do that mining thing and you get down to 12 something, if they're differentiating that many miles, 4,000 miles difference now, it could change another 4,000 miles difference between now and February 13th through the 16th. So we gotta keep an eye on the thing. The only thing, the one thing is no matter what, if the actual data is totally factual, then the idea that and since they keep such a close eye on it and they're going to they're going to keep an eye on it every day they have been for quite a while okay because it's the closest thing that we're ever going to have to worry about even your great grandkids as kids is the next thing they have to worry about something because it's another 178 years and don't listen to the stuff that there's another one in 128 years and in 26 uh 20,026 and stuff like that it's a bunch of because basically this is the closest thing okay then we get right back down here to the actual factual this is what you have to be concerned about, okay, right here. So, and like I say, the 13th through the 
the, and I know it's 2013, but basically you see it's the 13th through the 15th. And basically I say the 13th through the 16th that you have to be concerned about this object coming in DA14. And then we're going to go to what we've got, actually got going on out in space right now, DA14. And then and we'll also show you a little bit about ISON. Now you can read this about ISON. And then there's really nothing to worry about ISON. It's just basically a comet. Uh, IO, Jupiter's moon. Basically we're going to go see some action on Jupiter here in a second. Get this squared away because basically I save a ton of time on video because basically you can go ahead and read this stuff. And then I'm going to, at the very end of this video, I'll pop into uh, and I will bring this star up. And then you'll know where to watch for ISON coming from on a daily thing. You can keep an eye on ISON because you can go to JPL and put in ISON and you can get it. Trajectory. And here's ISON. And you, you just go put in ISON and you'll get 2012 SI ISON. And that's going to be in November of this year. And as you can see, I don't even care if I'm right or wrong right now, but the idea that this should be it right here. And so you should be able to get outside and look at ISON in the middle of the night. I don't know why somebody hasn't, uh, I guess they're saying it's not clear to the eye yet. Should be able to see the Dargon thing. So, not worried about that too much. It's just going to be looking just like a comet. But daytime, you're going to be able to see it. Currently, shot of the sun, and then basically Bino's been pressuring him. So now you get a little bit more honesty of what's going on up by the sun. You get stocks like this. Lately, for the last year or so, you've been getting stuff like this. Uh, intelligent people have a good way, of, smart ways of talking to each other, just totally in silence. And then basically stuff like this happens, and you start seeing and then the actual factual that we have stuff up by the sun. There's plenty of stuff between even this shot and all this, all the way, way close up by the sun. There's tons of stuff, and I've showed you that in the past videos. And then since we got blockage again, we're wondering what's going on with meatballs, because there's a lot of meatballs out in space. And then we just go over here and we'll see the actual data of what's going on. Get a nice spike there. And then cross-facing again. And then we do have a lot of sea action. Basically, the sun has kind of woken up. It's been slow. Like I showed you when I first started the video, I gave you some data on the sun. Uh, I just basically throw the data in because just sharing and make everybody wake up. That we, the sun has woke back up and we had a very unusual that we were above sea for a long time. People that are in my talk group, they knew what I was talking about because the idea is showing us like it was going along C and it was staying above the line and it was very unusual because it was just basically a racehorse. And so anyhow, that's our data there. We also have a CME that came off again and then uh, recently, and this one won't hit this Earth. Earth is right here. This is us. That's Earth. Okay, so as you can see, that won't hit us. And there was also one earlier that came down lower, too. So we're getting M classes, I think, also now. This was our star cluster that basically I showed you a little bit earlier. That's, this is to do with uh, just this here action up here. Okay, all this data here. That's our distance from, and that's basically where ISON's at right now. Now remember, if you don't anybody get caught up in anybody trying to tell you what I'm going to show you in a minute, it could be serious, because it's not. Okay, It's too small. Sirius is only uh, 295 point something miles in circumference, found in 1801, 212 years ago. So as you remember, then we go another 212 years and it's 2013 now and basically Bino has been showing you that there's the size of Sirius and basically it could be considered a, one of our moons that basically NASA is just argumentatively, okay, well it's not our moon now, but the idea that it basically it's basically, you know, go check out memory. Mercury's the same goddamn size as the moon, okay? So in the future when we got video time, we'll go ahead and plot when we should be able to try to go up to what uh, Io, Jupiter's moon, and basically, basically Io is not a moon. More than likely, it's a planet, and we've had very astounding pictures from it, and it's a, considered a moon of Jupiter, and it's one of the largest four, but it's pretty much a goddamn planet. Okay, and Mercury's not a planet. It's a flipping moon, same goddamn size as our moon. Okay, Mercury's not a goddamn planet. Now, anybody that didn't watch the whole movie is the ones getting screwed. You always got to watch every minute of the movie. Basically, we've got another planet to be interested besides what we are seeing down by Jupiter because we got another thing out by Jupiter. Okay, as you can see here, we have a CME going off, and basically, I'll pump it up a little bit more. We'll go uh, 999 real fast. 
sorry about that. Here we go. Click, click. 999. And we go left. And there we go. We're getting the flash down there. As you can see that there is very large planet over there here. And then the reason we say very large is because we're going to pop out real fast. 125. And this is planet here that we that gets that is closer to Jupiter. And this is not Ceres. Okay, it's too damn big, and it's close to the. Yes, it is close. Just like if you go, Mercury looks very large right now from A because the idea that. It's very close to the SOHO satellite, okay? Now, this was the flash down here that I just zoomed in on right here, okay? Watch there, and that will flash. I'll put the cursor on the other side right by it. And you can see that flash there. Okay, we'll pop up in size a little bit real fast. And there it is, flashing right there. Pretty close to my cursor. I'll put the cursor. cursor. There you go. That's flashing there. So no matter what, we have another planet because this thing is big and NASA's been looking at it like crazy because the idea, they know it's not serious, they know it's not, and it's like, and they, they've had to know. I mean, come on, they look at this stuff. They've got physicists and uh, astronomers that are looking at this all the time. So the idea, they've known that this stuff's out there. And yes, this was from around by when the meatball came by and everything like that. So, and this is pretty much alignment there so now we'll go ahead and we'll show you again where earth is sitting at pretty much okay if you watch the last few videos you'll know that basically this isn't earth that's not earth right there okay because we'll go to b jupiter is supposed to be the biggest damn thing in our solar system it's that far away from earth okay that many on you now check out series only about 295 just about 300 miles in circumference big okay dwarf planet it's only and they call it a planet which is stupid mercury's not a planet okay mercury's not a planet Ceres is, I don't know why they call it a dwarf planet. Mercury's a dwarf planet. So, no matter what, this is huge. This is a planet that we've never really been able to know that's there. And it's closer than Jupiter, okay? And it's it's farther out than Ceres, okay? And it's not Ceres, okay? And then we also have this that we're finding over here, okay? So remember that there, the flaring there, okay? pop into B and take a look and you'll see Earth and you know and you'll know that that basically what you're seeing over there by Jupiter is not it and this is our fresh is and you can see all the magnetos look at check out all the magneto all the stuff that's actually in our solar system whether it's in our inner solar system it's in our solar system now they're starting to use the words inner solar system okay they say Ceres is the only thing in our inner solar system see in an inner solar system but that's just a distance okay it's in our solar system is all this stuff as you can see all the magneticals because they're black Okay, as you see them along here, lots of them, count them. Okay, don't have time in this video, we'll come back to this and count all that stuff. Now, currently here in Hawaii, ooh, but you know, say where he was at. Anyway, this is my cent, this is the clock I keep my clock at. Okay, so anyway, in Hawaii right now, you can't see it, so we have to go ahead and current constellations and stuff that basically Ison is in. Okay, so it's up by hip 30. Seven seven six one eight. Three seven seven six one eight. Hip thirty seven seventy six one eight. Okay. So it's up in this area here. Okay. Remember constellations in your stars change every few hours, every hour, minutes. You know, the constellations are constantly... We're rotating, ladies and gentlemen. Earth rotates. For what, we'll go back over and look at Jupiter and our newfound planet. But no matter what, we also have tons of planets here because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So in our solar system, which we know since all the satellites are going and trying to find uh, the bow shock, which we haven't found yet, that solar system is bigger than they think. So where's the smart ass astronomers? Because basically, this is not anything that we get told that this is. So all the smart astronomers tell Vino Black what planet this is because it's not Ceres, okay? And it's close to the sun. We prove that because we have CME action going to it. And NASA's not marketing it. Mar market NASA. And then also let us know what this is over here that's flashing because we're going to keep seeing that. Now watch NASA try to hide this here that's flashing there, okay? More soon.